Alright then, well, hello everyone, it is me, Jay Burns, and in this tutorial I am going to be showing you how to make this thing right here. These little charms here are called the three petal flowers, you know, like a three leaf clover. These have three petals and they're flowers, so I'm calling them the three petal flowers. And, well, I... It's my own original design, of course. And, well, I'm going to be showing you how to make this in this tutorial for right-handed people. So, if you place rubber bands on the right side of your loom, then this is the tutorial for you. And if you use your left hand, I have a tutorial for left-handed people. So, the link to that tutorial will be in the description. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just tell you what you're going to need. To make this little charm, you're going to need any three pins on your loom, or any three pins on anything. I will be using these three pins here on my rainbow loom. You could also use a crazy loom, or a wonder loom, or a sunshine loom, or a moon loom, or a monster tail loom. Or you could even make it on the finger loom if you're making this when they have finger looms out. And, you will also need your hook. And if you are interested in making the little decoration on my hook, there will be a link to the tutorial to make this. The tutorial is not by me, Jay Burns. It is by another person named, or their channel is Tutorials By Me, which is, that's what their channel is called. So, the link to this tutorial will be in the description. You will also need rubber bands. And, well, I'm not going to have a separate clip for that because you don't really need that many at all. And, well, for rubber bands, you're going to need either one or two rubber bands for the petals. It depends on what you prefer. I'm going to be using two rubber bands for the petals. And if you do not know what that looks like, it looks like this. So two rubber bands for the petals looks like this. And if you want to use one rubber band for the petals, then your flower will look like this. I'm going to be two using two rubber bands for the petals. You will also need another rubber band for the inside of the flower. So, this yellow part here in the middle. You will also need one more rubber band for the little stem or whatever the thing is called at the bottom here. So this green part here on this flower, and it will be green in this tutorial as well. You will also need a clip, but it does not matter what clip you use, I would recommend using a C-clip like I am in this tutorial because that is what I used for all of my flowers, but if you do not have a C-clip, you can use whatever clip you have. It should work. So anyway, now that you know what you're going to need, go ahead and get the things you need and use the pause button so that you can do so. And I will see you once you have everything. Alright, so to begin, you're going to need to make sure that the arrow is pointing towards you. And we're going to be using these three pins here. We're going to be using this first middle pin, the first right pin, and the second right pin. Now you're going, um, please excuse me if I do mess up, like, majorly in this tutorial, because... I am a left-handed person, so this tutorial is going to be a little bit slow if you are right-handed and you're really good at looming. So I do apologize if this tutorial is super slow. But anyway, let's try to make it less slow and stop talking and start making the tutorial. So, to begin, you're going to get either the one or two rubber bands you will be using for your petals. I'm going to be using two. And what you're going to do is you're going to first start on this first middle pin. And you're going to place these rubber bands with your thumb kind of upwards. So you have your pointer finger and then your thumb. You're going to have your thumb on top and the pointer finger, or whatever this finger is called. <laughs> I actually forget what the fingers are called, goodness. You're going to have this finger here on the bottom. You're just going to set them on this first right pin, or first middle pin, and pull them outwards, or it outwards between these two right pins. So I'm 
Okay, Luma's is about to fall apart. Okay, so pull it, pull them between these two right pins. Then bring it or them down to this bottom right pin or this first right pin. So you get something that looks exactly like this on your loom, unless if you have one rubber band. Then you're going to grab the top part of this rubber band on this first right pin. So this part right here. And this is a little bit difficult, but you're going to grab it. You're going to pull it outwards as well. And try to get it to wrap around this second right pin or this top right pin. Now you should have a shape like this. And once you do, you're just going to grab this rubber band here. Just take it off, but do not release it. And just twist it onto this pin here. So let me show you again. So this first right pin, you're just going to take it off with your fingers. Do not let the rubber band fall off the other pins, but just twist this rubber band back onto the first right pin. And now you should get something like this on your loom. And once you have something like this on your loom, you are now going to place the rubber band that will be in the middle of the flower, so the yellow part in this flower. Also have your hook very close by because we are about to use it or pick it up and start looming things as soon as we place this rubber band. So the, with the rubber band you're going to put in the middle of the flower, you're going to place it across all three pins that this rubber band you just twisted onto is on, so all three pins here. Now you're going to get your hook and you're just going to loom the bottom layer of rubber bands on all three pins. And by bottom layer, I mean whatever rubber bands are the petal rubber bands. So I have two of them. I'm just going to grab them with your hook, pull them over the pin. Ugh. Yeah, you can tell I'm not right-handed. And release. Then you'll do the same thing for the other two pins. Grab the bottom rubber bands or the petal rubber bands, pull them over the pin, and release. And the same here for this first middle pin. I'm gonna grab bottom bands, pull them over, and release. And once you have done that, you should have something like this on your loom. Now you're going to do the same thing again, only with the rubber band that will be kind of the stem or the green part on this flower. You get that rubber band. Stretch it across the same three pins, like this, and now you're going to get your hook again and loom the bottom rubber band or the bottom layer of rubber bands on all three pins. And this rubber band should be the rubber band that will be in the middle of your flower. Eh, come on, grab it. And there we go. So now, once you have loomed that rubber band there, you are now going to transfer these two parts of this rubber band onto this first middle pin. So then we can get our clips and attach them to the rubber bands more easily. So have your clip nearby and ready. But what you're going to do is you're going to get your hook and we're going to grab the rubber band on this bottom right pin, or this first right pin first. We're going to pull it off the pin, but be very careful because you do not want the rubber band to fall off of your hook. And you're going to bring this rubber band inwards to this first middle pin. There we go. Now we're going to do the same thing for the rubber band on this top right pin, or this second right pin. Going to use your hook, grab it, or grab this rubber band here, pull it off the pin, but be very careful, you do not want it to fall off of your hook, and then bring this little layer or this rubber band on your hook inwards to this first middle pin. And now you should have three layers of rubber bands on your this first middle pin, and now what we're going to do is we're going to get our clip and attach it to these three layers here. 
Now, if it is possible, you might want to stretch these rubber bands outwards to another pin so it is easier to place your clip on. But if it does not seem like it's going to be possible for you to stretch the rubber bands onto another pin, then just leave them like this. It's very easy to put your clip on this way as well. At least it is for a C clip. And I'm just going to go ahead and use my left hand because I'm going crazy using my right. You're just going to get your clip and attach it to these three layers here on this first metal pin. And like I said, it's very easy for a C clip, so I'll go ahead and give you a few extra seconds. Alright, if you don't have your clip on, then just pause the video. But once you have your clip on these three layers of rubber bands, like this, then now you can take these rubber bands off of the pin with your clip on them, and now you should have your flower. Well, almost. As you can see, the petals are not very spread out like they are on this flower, so you got to spread them out yourself. So just pull them outwards to wherever it looks like they belong. This rubber band here looks like it goes out here. These look like they go out that way. And you might need to tug on the petals a little bit because some of the petals might be a little smaller than the rest, so you'll need to do a little bit of adjusting. But once you have done the adjusting you need to and your flower looks either exactly like this or something like this, then now you have your little flower. Now it's time for the outro. So I would like to thank you for watching my tutorial and hopefully you were able to make this little flower successfully and your flower looks something like this here. I do not believe I showed you in the beginning of the video. But this is the reason why I made a tutorial for left-handed people and right-handed people because, well, if you twist the rubber band, some, somehow if you twist the rubber band weird, it, you get this. And this tutorial was for right-handed people, so if you got something like this and you're left-handed, then, and you made it on the left-handed side, then you might have gotten something like this or worse. Or maybe you got this and you're lucky. But Anyway, I would like to thank you for watching my tutorial. Hopefully it showed you how to make this little charm successfully, and hopefully you are enjoying your little tiny flower. And if you are making these for a bracelet that I will have, you can't. You were told to come to this tutorial and make a bunch of these little flowers, then congrats, you know how to make the flower, and you can continue to make more until you have enough to make the bracelet. But anyway, thanks for watching. And bye.